Hello, welcome back to JM Electrobikes. In today's video, we're going to be doing a spec talk on the brand new Teleria Sting. So here it is, the Teleria Sting. Now this is a completely off-road motorbike, but there will be a road-going version coming in about March 2022. So this is a halfway house between a mountain bike and a motocross bike, and of course is 100% pure electric. So let's start by talking about power. So this has a mid-mount motor which produces continuous power of three kilowatts and a peak power of six kilowatts. Now that power is transferred to the rear wheel via a chain drive with a 44 tooth rear sprocket. So the peak torque of the motor is about 34 newton meters and linked to a 60 volt 38 amp hour battery, which is good for about 60 miles of range, averaging at 20 miles an hour. Now for us, while we were out riding today, we were probably out for about an hour, averaging somewhere between 10 and 20 miles an hour. And we only used about 15% of the battery. So that goes to show that the 60 volt 38 amp hour battery pack will provide plenty of riding time for you when you're out and about having some fun putting this thing to the test. So let's talk about the all important suspension. If you're going to be taking a bike off road, you want to know that your suspension is going to be good enough to handle whatever terrain you throw at it. So this has the RST killer front forks, and you do have some adjustment. Up top you have compression, and down at the bottom of the fork you can adjust your rebound. Now that gives you all the adjustment that you really need for a bike of this size and weight. On the rear you have a rebound adjustable monoshock, which again is perfect for this kind of bike. All in all, including the battery, this only weighs 63 kilograms, so it's really easy to chuck about. The suspension, as it has, is perfect for that. You really don't need any more, although there are some aftermarket options to upgrade. And to further complement the quality of the ride, you have 19-inch wheels front and rear with nice big knobbly tires on, so you can really hit that mud, flick it up everywhere, get it all over yourself, and just generally have a really good time. So you've got a seat height of about 870 millimeters. So for me at five foot nine, it's pretty much spot on. I can just about get both my feet flat on either side once the suspension's compressed. You might find it a little bit difficult if you are shorter, uh, but anything up and above six foot will be absolutely fine on this bike. Now the handlebar width is 760 millimeters. So it's a really good width to give you good stability under low and high speed. You get lots of control. And you of course have your brakes front and rear on the handlebar, um, the same as you would on a mountain bike. So unlike traditional motorbikes with a foot brake, you do have both of your brakes on the handlebars. The brake does actually act as a cutoff for the motor. So if you're giving it throttle and you pull in the brake, it will cut the motor. But it also means that you can use the brake almost as a clutch. So it gives you a little bit more control under the slow speeds. You've also got a headlight and tail light, so even if you're riding into the night, you've still got visibility and you can still be seen by other people. So you've also got a nice little screen here on the handlebars. So that gives you all the visibility for the ride mode that you're in. There's different settings within each ride mode as well. And you can also see this, the current speed that you go in. Now the bike does have regen braking, um, and if you go into the menu system, you can adjust how, how hard that regen braking comes in. Um, personally, I like it on the highest setting. It gives you a really, really good amount of control rolling on and off the throttle, so you don't have to use the brake so much. And the benefit of that is when you're riding at higher speeds, because the brake does cut the motor, you can essentially rely on the regen braking to slow you down and give you that control rather than using the brakes. Now, of course, one of the benefits of the electric motorbike is the fact that it doesn't make a great deal of noise. So if you are out and about in the countryside where there's horses, dog walkers, or any kind of farm animals, 
You can be sure that you're not going to disturb or annoy anyone around you. It's absolutely brilliant. So in terms of charging, the Teleria comes with an off-board charger, which should charge this in around two and a half to three and a half hours. It's also got a removable battery. So if you decide to charge at home or you need to keep the bike somewhere or you know in the van, you can remove the battery, plug it into the wall and charge it pretty much anywhere. You also have a cutout on the side of the top section where you can access the charging port for the bike, which means if you don't want to have to remove the battery itself, you can plug directly into the side and charge wherever you like. Now the keen-eyed among you might have noticed that this actually looks very similar to the Suron, and that's because Teleria was partly developed by the people who did the Suron. So these will be coming into the UK at the beginning of 2022, with deliveries starting from February. Now we are currently taking pre-orders on this bike, so if you want to get yourself one and order one before they all sell out, which I'm sure they will because the Suron already has, Get in contact with us, you can jump on our website to order directly from there or email us at info at electrobikes.life and we will make sure that we can get you unsorted. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the new Teleria Sting. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll be doing lots of different videos. As mentioned before, we do have other videos on the Teleria Sting coming soon, one of which was our little ride out that we did today. If you want to learn anything more about the Teleria or any of the other electric motorbikes that we offer, jump onto our website, electrobikes.life, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.